Culture's job is to drive the behavior that produces the results we want. That's it. It's culture's job to drive behavior that wins. Now we want to measure winning by our standard, not by other people's, but it's culture's job to produce the behaviors that produce the results we want. Because if our culture produces a great experience where everybody likes being here, but the behavior is below standard and it doesn't win, what have we done? We've created a culture everybody loves that just won't be here for very long. Culture is a competitive tool. It's not, it's not culture's job to make people feel good. It's culture's job to get more out of you and you and you and you, because why? We're here through a shared set of beliefs that drive a shared set of behavioral standards that drive a shared experience that brings more out of everybody. Now, the side benefit is what? When you build a strong culture, you build a strong brand, which attracts people who what? Believe what we believe, who wanna behave the way we do and wanna share in and participate and, and contribute to the experience we're driving. So that's the beauty of this, is when you build a culture that produces, not only does it create results, it also is attractive to the people who align with that. Now here's the danger of this though. Here's the danger of that. Coach, let's say you decide to hire me onto the staff, okay? And let's say like this is the room, you're working with these four guys and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna be the fifth guy in this, in this room, okay? And you, you hire me because you like my attitude and you like my skill set. Like, hey, I think he's got a good attitude, I think he's got a good skill set, let's come in. And in this alternate environment, the, the four guys that I'm gonna come work with are good guys, but they complain a little bit too much, they're a little bit on autopilot, and they've kinda, they're kind of at a cruising portion of this. They're a little bit, you know, they talk a little bit more about you than they talk about to you. You guys know what I'm talking about? A Little bit more ego than humility, yeah? Okay, a little more complaining than solutions. After one year of me working on this staff with these four guys, do I pull them up to my standard or do I go to theirs? Why? Because you guys answered that right away. Like you guys didn't like debate that, you went, you go to theirs. It was immediate. We see it so clearly and obviously with players and athletes and we don't see how it happens with us. And in every staff room, this dynamic exists. The standard that gets set, who talks to whom, who trusts who, what standard action, all the same locker room dynamics, they exist right here as well. And we think fitting in is something for the kids, and I'm above that. And the truth is, it's just as relevant for you and me as it is for them. And oftentimes we can get guilty of pushing a standard for them that we're not what? Living here, and that wouldn't be the first time that we do this, this is one of the hard parts about leading. Puts us out on a pedestal and all that, it's very difficult. But I wanna appreciate this. What is there that dictates that the larger group has to win? Who said that has to be true? What important cultural transformation, what important transformation, what important movement ever started in the history of the world with the majority? None. Everything we've ever done <coughs> as human beings that progress something, improve something, enhance something, or change something from a lower standard to a higher standard, 100% of the time it started with the minority, and it was what? A minority that was, and sometimes it was just one person, and then it what? It slowly went from one to two. They didn't try to go from one to 400, they went from one to two, and then two went from two to four. Next thing you know, we got a group. Now we got a little bit of juice, right? We got, we got a little bit more power. Next thing it went from four to 12 and eight and blah, 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 blah. But what, in today's world, we look around, it's like if everybody's not positive, we feel super alone and then we're like, oh, they just overwhelm us. And in the history of the world, this has always been. The only people who, who actually get this shit done are the ones who persevere and don't look at the numbers. They look at what you said, they look at the standard. I'm not committed to the, I don't care, I'm committed to the standard. It's more important than me fitting in.